A chest. I wonder what's in it. An envelope? Where's my loot? It's my loot, and I want it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome to Deadfish RLV. My name is Jay-Z, and today I'm going to be showing you the tribute exploit to get bad juju without having to spend any materials. First off, I want to say, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button so I know, so I can make some more videos like this. And if you're not a subscriber and you're new here, why don't you consider subscribing for more Destiny 2 videos. Now, I did this video once, but I deleted all the video files I had for my clips, so it just left a bunch of sound bites, and I was like, oh no, because you can only do this once per account. Once you open the tribute hall, you won't be able to do it again. But luckily enough, I had an alternate account that I was able to do it on, and I only went to 18 tributes on the alternate account. On my original account, I went to 50, but that took like two hours almost. I think this one took 45 minutes because of load times, but at least I was able to get it in. So without any further ado, let's get this started. Now I just want to let you guys know, if you've already accessed the tribute hall, if you've already put the raid banner down, you won't be able to do this exploit. Also, you're going to need two characters. You're going to need a main character, the one that picks up the quest, and then you're going to need an alternate character to do the exploit with. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is to pick up the quest step from the chest on Nessus next to Warner. After that, you go to the tribute hall and talk to the Kallus statue and pick up a bounty. Do the bounty, and once you complete it, go back to the tribute hall and talk to the Kala statue once again to get the next step in the invitation. Now you're going to get a raid banner to put down to open the doors, but you're not going to want to do that just yet. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to switch to your alternate character that you're going to want to do the exploit with and go to the tribute hall. Once you get to the tribute hall with your alternate character, Go to where you can place the raid banner down and place it down. You'll notice that the doors will not open, which is a good thing. This is part of how the exploit works. Once those doors open, you won't be able to do this again. So do not go back to your main character until you're sure you're ready to go back. So once you've placed the raid banner down with your alternate character, go to orbit and go back into the tribute hall. You'll notice that you'll be able to place the raid banner down again. Place it down and continue to do this until you get the desired number that you're looking for. It's 18 for Bad Juju, it's 45 for its Catalyst, and it's 50 tributes for the emote. Once you get the desired number of tributes you want, you can go ahead and switch back to your main character. Return to the Tribute Hall, place the Raid Banner down, and open the doors. You will notice that you are now able to put Tribute down around the chest. Place the four dogs around there to get the next step. Return to the Kala statue, pick up the next step, which is the other side mission, complete it to get bad juju. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this exploit. Is it fair? I certainly don't think so. A lot of people have put a lot of time in trying to get those materials to get the tributes for this gun. But, if you are a casual player and don't get to play very often, this is a quick way to get the gun. I'm going to leave you with some video footage of me doing the exploit and some footage from me doing the other side mission. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, keep being awesome and thanks for watching.